Joss was 11 that month. I'm 13. Oddly enough, we're very good friends. It's a rare thing to be friends with your sister, especially when she's your parents' favorite. She's everybody's favorite. I know. I'm perceptive about human relationships, which is a good thing. I plan on being a poet and playwright when I'm 21. That's why I know if they had to make a choice between us, if we were all in a boat, and the boat capsized, and we had only one life jacket, they would put it on Joss. Oh, I'm not blaming them. I would understand them. Joss was special. I'd do the same thing. It's time, darling. No. Aren't you coming? You don't have to if you don't want to. It's not that I don't want to. I can't. You'll be all right? Yes. Good thing something takes over and clouds your mind when someone you love dies. It's so awful. So unbelievably awful and terrible. And everything bad that people couldn't manage otherwise, I think. Everyone felt a special kind of love for her. That kind of love should be a protection. It wasn't. Redeemer liveth, and that he shall stand at the latter day upon the earth. And though this body be destroyed, yet shall I see God, whom I shall see for myself, and mine eyes shall behold, and not as a stranger. Remember thy servant, O Lord, according to the favor which thou bearest unto thy people. Grant that, increasing in knowledge and love of thee, she may go from strength to strength in the life of perfect service in thy heavenly kingdom. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee and the Holy Ghost, ever one God, world without end. Amen. Amen. Unto God's gracious mercy and protection we commit you. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace, both now and evermore. Amen. I'm sorry, Joss. It should have been me. It should have been me. Memories are funny. Things get all mixed up sometimes. But 
I know I first heard about Prince that day at the Essex with Tootie. Joss, we have to go now. Mom needs those things. Oh! Come on, Joss. I have to go to the bookstore, too. extra, you know. Feeds in the deal or it's no deal. You drive a hard bargain. What's going on? I'm renting a horse for a week. Mr. Rassig has given her prints for a whole week. And it costs only $30. I bargained them down at $30. Like I said, a hard bargainer. $30? Where are you going to get $30? I've got five saved. Grandma will send me 25 for my birthday. She always does. Maybe I'll have second thoughts about the deal. Maybe I'll say it's cheaper to hire another stable boy. Stable person. You'll never get one for the wages you pay. A half hour free ride on my best horse? You don't know the mileage you run up on him already. I'm exercising him, Mr. Essig, not riding him. Suppose you think Dad'll say yes, just like that. Not just like that, but it's too important for him to say no. Wow, a whole week. I'm looking for the paperback of Language in Thought and Action by S.I. Hayakawa. See anything interesting? The Art of Loving? Maybe Grandma will send you that instead of a check. This is the last copy we have. That'll be 313 with tax. Young ladies, be so kind as to come over here. What do you propose to do about that? We didn't spill it. Your dog did. After you opened your gate to let her out? Seamus is a he, and I didn't open our gate. Joss wouldn't do a thing like that, Miss Pemberthy. Maybe the gate was open and Seamus got out, and I witnessed the entire incident from those very windows. Well, you didn't witness me, because I wasn't anywhere near our gate. You are at the bottom of every bit of mischief that occurs in this community. I'm sorry if Seamus did it, Miss Pemberthy. We'll clean it up later. Until you do, I intend to let it lie there to shame the entire neighborhood. She makes me so mad. She's always picking on us. She doesn't like kids. Or dogs. I wonder if she likes horses. Tough beans on this timber. Hi, Dad. Hello, sweetheart. Don't have to worry about my birthday, Dad. I'm renting a horse. And for his barn, I've decided to build one in our yard. There's an old shack in which we can tear Slow down. Slow down, Joss. What does your father say about this? Her father has not been allowed to say word one yet. As a matter of fact, her father does not quite... <laughs> Did you say rent a horse? Only for a week, and it only costs $30. But this neighborhood is zoned against horses. You can't even keep chickens around here. Chickens are noisy and horses aren't. Well, nevertheless, the ordinances are quite specific. This is the dream of my life to have my own horse. A nightmare, I'd say. Daddy. All right. Can we try and be practical about this? You're going to build a barn? A temporary one, out of used wood. Free. And now the kids will help. I'll trade them work for rides. And Mr. Essex throwing in feed and a saddle, too. Suppose Grandma doesn't send her usual check? She might send a book. Or the neighbors might object. Most of them have kids, and I'm friends with everyone. Well, what if this horse breaks a leg or something? It's not good to count so much on something. Besides, there's always Miss Pemberthy. Whom we can count on. Got an idea. Hi, Mr. 
Miss Pemberley. I'm here to clean up your garbage. Be sure you pick up every speck. Yes, ma'am. I know you like your place to look neat. In fact, it sets the tone for the entire neighborhood. Well, someone has to maintain standards. You have such a beautiful garden, too. I regret to say it's been rather neglected. You mean your flowers? They sure don't look very healthy, if you ask me. Those flowers look like they could use a good fertilizer. My dad's a bug on fertilizer. In fact, we're expecting a fresh load of manure to be delivered soon. Why don't I ask my father and see if he won't let you have some? Why, well, I'm sure that would be very kind of him. Don't worry, Miss Pemberley. I'll get that manure for you. I guarantee. Playhouse? Prince is going to live there. Prince? Mm -hmm. Oh. Do you remember, did I give uh, permission? <laughs> well, you didn't exactly say no. kids. There's a storm coming in. This is a fine-looking barn, Joss. Any horse would be proud to live here. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Remember Jean-Pierre? Sort of. I loved him a lot. Where'd he go, do you know? Just left one day. Said he was going to visit his family. He might never come back. Hasn't been around since. Why don't you just pretend he's back like you used to pretend? I never pretended, Kate. He was here. You have to understand, Jean-Pierre, like I do, Kate. He was a real friend. He was there when I needed him. He'd do anything in the world for me. But he didn't want to hang around. He had other things to do. It's very simple, Kate. I refuse to look.
Prince didn't mind sleeping in the garage. I'll scrub it out and put blankets in the corner for him in case it gets cold. And then I won't let you paint your car in the garage. Not until Prince goes away. Oh, is that so? And what do you suggest I do with it? Leave it at the station and uh, take a taxi? Well, that's not a bad idea. I was thinking you'd leave it on the street. And what do I get out of this? What's in it for me? You can have the best thing of all, the very best. Oh, what's that? You can have the first ride on Prince. <laughs> <laughs> I am overwhelmed. <laughs> it's a thing I like best in the whole world, so it's for you. I found it on the beach. It looks like a heart. You're a great person. I love you. You're a good man, Toot. Here's Mr. Watcher now. These are for you, Joss. Yeah, they sure look like birthday cards to me. So it's your birthday again, huh? Seemed like you just had one. And these are for your mother, Kate. I'm sorry, honey, if there's nothing for you, maybe tomorrow, huh? I'm getting my horse today, Mr. Watcher. As soon as I get my birthday check from my grandmother, I'm going over to get Prince. That's so. Oh, it's a fine thing for a girl to have her own horse. You know, I remember my sister Gertrude wanted a horse in the worst way. Did she get it like me? Oh, she was living on the fifth floor of a building over in Bridgeport. Not too easy to find a horse that can walk up five flights of stairs, is it? Mm-hmm. I think it was serious. Hurry up. Let's open your cards and see what you got. I think I'll open Grandma's last. It's from Aunt Blanche and Uncle Bob. We have sent a donation to our favorite charity in your name. It's kind of neat. I wouldn't think so if it was your birthday. It's from Angela. She's that silly girl in school that sends everybody a birthday card. It's her life work. <laughs> she didn't send me what I hoped she sent me. I'm in the soup. The sweetest girl I know. Is that all? It's what we thought, Kate. Twenty-five dollars. All systems are go. My girlfriend, Sheila, works down at the La Mode Beauty Salon. She did it for me. She's very creative. It's beautiful. Come on in, all of you. I want you to meet her. Sheila, I want you to meet a few friends of mine. This here's Joss and her little boyfriend, hey, Judy. And this here's her sister, Kate. Hi. Joss is Essex stable boy. Stable person. Oh. And I came over to get Prince on account it's my birthday, and I got the money right here. Oh, I knew there was something. Sheila, didn't I tell you? That ass clean forgot about it. You mean Prince isn't here? He's here, but Essig isn't. He went off with a truck on some sort of business. Who knows when he'll be back? Is it okay if we wait? Yeah, sure, but uh, you might have to wait all day. We'll wait. So it's your birthday, huh? How old are you? Eleven. Eleven? Wait a second. I know who you remind me of. I've been thinking and thinking, and I know who it is. Who's that, honey? Elizabeth Taylor. <laughs> I bet people ask you for your autograph all the time. <laughs> You made a friend for life, kid. Here. You didn't have.
have to do that? I wanted to. Thank you very much. It's lovely. You're welcome. That's got to be Essig. Essig, you know what you went and did? You went and forgot the most important day in the year. What's that? Well, look here. Oh, how could I do a thing like that? She'll never forgive me. That's all right, Mr. Essig. Here's the money. Now, if you could just get Prince in the wagon and deliver him. Oh, sweetheart, I don't see how I can. I got so many things lined up. Besides, you don't know how lucky you are. I almost just rented Prince to a lady for a party she was giving. Only the price wasn't right. Essig, you made a deal. He'll deliver Prince by nightfall, honey. Have no fear. By nightfall? Mm -hmm. By nightfall. And Essex as good as his word. Did you really think she looked like Elizabeth Taylor? I thought she was a mess. Those eyelashes. Well, I read somewhere that if you tell a person they're beautiful, well, they get beautiful. It worked. She was better looking when we left. Where's Tootie? I sent him home. He's making me nervous. I've never lived through such a long day in my whole life. He won't be here till tonight. Come back later tonight, OK? OK. okay. I've got an idea. Why don't we wait up in the treehouse? We haven't been up there in a long time, and that way we're away from everyone. I'm even getting nervous. last time we hit up here? It was before Jean-Pierre went away. Remember? We brought up a picnic lunch and ate so much peanut butter. Jean-Pierre almost gave us away by burp. I didn't hear him, of course. Of course. I was the only one he'd say anything to. When I write my first novel, it'll be about you and Jean-Pierre. And I'll call it The Invisible Companion. How's that for a title? Shh. It's only Sam. The enemy, nevertheless. We forgot. There is an enemy, Miss Pemberthy. I'd better prepare her. What are you talking about? I'll be back later. Sit down, child. Well, you don't mind if I sit this while we chat, do you? <laughs> when one lives alone, one must be very careful. It's so easy to resort to alcohol but I'm very strict with myself. One glass of sherry and one alone before my evening meal. Oh, can I get you something? I realize you're not old enough for alcohol, are you? I'm 13. I don't want anything, thank you. I just... 13. I was 13 when my mother died. I remembered as if it were yesterday. I made up my mind. I'd keep house for my father, make him forget, make him happy. I tried so hard to make him happy. Got married a year after my mother died. They shut me out. Forgot I was there. Used to call my mother dearest. Called this new woman. This new wife he called darling. Father usually calls my mother honey. When he teases her, he calls her the little woman. Called her darling every time he turned around. They kissed right in front of me. Thought I was in the way. Terrible thing to feel in the way in your own house. You came for something, Kate? I, I just came to say. Nor are we expected as being delivered tonight. Oh, that's very thoughtful of you, my dear. Yes, ma'am. 
I better go. Nothing? Who's looking out the window? It's Miss Pemberthy. Jean Pierre! Jean Pierre! Come back! I am. I come back! Jean Pierre! Where are you going? Hey! Hey! Stop hollering! Why do you always wake me? Because you wake me when you shout so loud when you're dreaming. So real, Kate. Me and Jean Pierre were riding horses by a river. And Jean Pierre fell into the water. I went to go rescue him. And, and then he had on a bright red shirt. And then I couldn't see him at all. Do you want some hot milk? I know. A girl told me, if you put your shoes under your bed, with the soles up, it'll stop nightmares. I've been waiting to try it out. You're so real, Kate. I hope he's all right. Jean-Pierre, I mean. He's fine. I know he's fine. Don't worry. Just go to sleep. It wasn't the prince I was riding either. Works. Now let's get one of you alone, Joss. Oh. I forgot. You're supposed to have the first ride. I defer to the younger generation. Who wants to ride him alone? Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, that's good. I simply could not believe my eyes. A 
horse across the street in a neighborhood that's certainly not zoned for horses. My dear Miss Pemberthy, yesterday was Joss's birthday. She's only rented him for a week. I shall have to report this to the proper authorities. Well, I must remind you my husband is an attorney and can take action himself. Look, I don't mean that as a threat. Miss Pemberthy, it's only for a week. Joss will keep him inside our property lines, and she's a very trustworthy and responsible girl. Well, far be it from me to interfere with a child's pleasure. <laughs> I was a child once myself, you know. <laughs> oh, I do hope the animal doesn't infest the neighborhood with flies. They also provide useful fertilizer, and uh, I understand Kate has promised you some. Yes. As a matter of fact, she did. <laughs> You did a good job, Mom. At least I held my temper. June 18th. I've been thinking about Miss Pemberthy today. How her mother died when she was 13, and her father married a year later, and she felt in the way. I asked Mom if something like that scars you for life. She said it might if you didn't have much else to think about. I guess it's hard to say what makes scars and what doesn't. Outside of you, Prince is my best friend. Don't forget Jean Pierre. I haven't. He'd have liked writing Prince. He missed all the best parts. Best parts of what? You know, he didn't get to go to the ocean with us that time. He missed the horse show and made yourselves. Lots of things. Seems to me Jean Pierre missed a whole lot. Why didn't you just bring him back? I couldn't. He was gone. That's all there was to it. Once I closed my eyes tight, we wished him to come back. But he didn't. Didn't even say goodbye. And now he's missing the best of all. I can't see Prince. Suppose he got loose? Be careful, that's a long way to the ground. Joss, are you all right? Answer me or I'll let you have it. If you're teasing me, I'll let you have it. Mom, come quick. Just fell on the tree. I think she's hurt. Oh, dear sweet Jesus. Baby? Baby? I'm going to get an ambulance. Kate, you stay with her. It's gonna be all right, huh? Everything's gonna be all right. Charles? Thank you, Wally. You take it. 
stay good care of your folks now, huh? Everybody's so kind. They go to so much trouble. Is your mother home, Kate? I don't think she can. Please come in, Miss Pemberthy. I came to offer my condolences. Thank you. Can I get tea? Oh, no, thank you. It was God's will. God, in his wisdom, took the little one home. Tough beans on God. Why couldn't he have taken someone that didn't matter? What right has he got to decide to make just die? when you were 13. That's no excuse! Esk ain't here right now, but he told me he felt awful bad picking Prince up that night, not knowing. He didn't know the next day. That little girl was like some sort of special person, you know? So alive. Mom said she died at the happiest moment of her life. I guess it was that. Sure don't happen to most of us. Maybe that's a comfort. I never had any kids. I had three misses, you know, miscarriages. But I always thought if I did have a kid, I'd want it to be just like Joss. I bet Tootie feels just awful. Come to the funeral or at the house. Maybe his folks wouldn't let him. When my girlfriend Sheila found out about it, she cried. I never saw a girl cry like that. I didn't even know she could cry. It's good to cry, it helps. What's in the knee? Oh, no. She'd have said the same thing if it had been you, honey. I know how you feel. Guilty. Because you're alive and she isn't. Like you'll never be happy again in your whole life. But believe me, you will. Why? Pretty soon today will be yesterday. And all of a sudden it'll be last year. And then years and years ago, why, you'll be grown up. 
maybe have a little girl of your own and you'll call her Joss. And every time you say her name, you'll think of her. So long ago. But you'll never, never lose the good times you and her had together. It's the right now that it hurts. dreamed about it last night. You were riding along the beach, and then you took Prince in the water. And we came back out in the sand, and I found the stone. You know, the one I gave her. Do you think she knows my best sir? Do you think she's having a good time where she is? Yes, I think she knows. I think things are all right with her. Don't you want to keep it? It wasn't mine. It was hers and yours. Now it's yours. To remember. I don't need anything to remember. To remember the good days, Tootie. There were lots of them. The happiest of our lives. Mrs. Essig told me that. We lost Joss. We'll never lose the memories of her. 